Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for today's show and tell, I want to give some recommendations for books that I think would be make great gifts for your friends, for your family, or even yourselves this holiday season. These are books I've bought for myself, and I think they would be great for everyone who's a movie fan or just a fan of the things we do here at Tesla. The first is The Making of Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This is the third book in the epic J.W. Rinsler compilation, behind the scenes chronicle of the making of the movies. J.W. Rinsler is the executive writer at Lucasfilm. Uh, he's worked on this book for about three years now. He had the original Making of Star Wars book, Making of Empire Strikes Back book, and finally this completes that original trilogy. It is comprehensive. It goes from pre-production right at the end of Empire Strikes Back to post-production to the release of Return of the Jedi has hundreds of different interviews with the people who worked in the film from the archives. Rinzer was granted just unprecedented access into Lucasfilm archives to pull photos and transcriptions of even the story meeting. So these are the meetings where uh, George Lucas would sit in with the writers of, of Return of the Jedi and discuss topics like, for example, should Luke kill the Emperor? How should Luke kill the Emperor at the end of the movie? Spoilers. Or at length, the Ewoks. Yes, they're discussed at length in this book. It has a great introduction from Brad Bird as well, from Pixar. What I love is that Brad Bird is very frank about not being very up on Return of the Jedi, and I know a lot of people don't like this film or don't think it's as strong as Empire Strikes Back, and Brad Bird says at the end of Empire, Luke is defeated, he's down, he, he is humbled, and yet at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, he's this cocky guy who walks into Jabba's palace and somehow makes things right. He, he doesn't really, he doesn't, bec there's no showing him becoming the Jedi. But you, again, you have all these behind the scenes stories in this book. If you have the first two, I can't, you can't not get the third one. There's also a digital version which has video, um, video clips uh, shot at Lucasfilm that's not in the text version. So if you want to read it as an ebook, you can pick that one as well. That's my first recommendation for today. My second recommendation is the Wes Anderson collection. Wes Anderson, um, this covers all of his films, if you like his films, from Bottle Rocket to Moonrise Kingdom, not the film he has out next year. And um, it just ha has great analysis of the way he sh his art design and the way he composes his shots, a lot of shot analyses. It's like every time you go to a Wikipedia page and, for a movie and you look at that section marked production for the making of a film, it's usually a couple paragraphs. That's not enough. You want an entire book dedicated to how those movies were made, and you get that in this, the Wes Anderson collection. For such a visual storyteller and movie director, you need a really visual medium to explain his art direction and his directing, and you get all that in this book as well. That's my second recommendation for today. Third one, not having to do with movies, but this is a fun little book called Alternate Histories of the World, and it's kind of like photoshopping anachronistic monsters, aliens, robots into famous photos, paintings, or illustrations and telling little funny stories that go along with it. It's, it's a quick, great read and you have things like Teddy Roosevelt, the Rocketeer, or just lots of monsters, like why was the Great Wall of China built? Of Obviously, to protect us from the monsters. Um, it, it's really a celebration of just great photoshopping work. Cheap, easy gift. And finally, one of my favorite books come out this year, a great coffee table book. This is called Things Come Apart, and it combines three things I love. One, taking things apart. Two, nulling them out. And three, photographing them. And Todd McLellan has done all of these with uh, everyday objects. You have things like a computer mouse, like a, uh, a master lock, all the way to things like a chainsaw or even a grand piano. He takes them apart, every single piece, every single screw, bolt, and nut or spring, nulls them all out, photographs them, and then drops them down and photographs them mid-drop and air. Beautiful photographs. There's even uh, a spread here that shows the photographing of him dropping a grand piano. I think it's a stand-up piano. And then also you see all the pieces of that piano laid out, nulled to perfection. These actually would make great prints to frame and put up. As, as a matter of fact, you can go on his website and buy prints for about $25 each, or what I like, like to do is actually just cut out the pages myself 
and frame them so you don't have to buy the prints because the book is nice and big and sturdy stock. So those are my picks for books to buy this holiday season. I know not, they're not very academic or heavy literature, but they're fun and they celebrate the things that I love. Movies, photography, taking things apart, and art. So I'm Norm. That's this week's show and tell. We'll have more awesome stuff next week. I'll see you next time.